Well, during uh, the recent, uh, the, the first snowstorm in January when uh, the, the boiler broke down at O'Dwyer Houses, uh, NYCHA has an office of family services which sent folks uh, down to, to O'Dwyer Houses uh, to inform them of a warming center they're going to set up nearby. I, I really pressure them and, and OEM uh, to create, to have a, open up a warming center nearby to give folks the option of having, you know, heat and blankets while their boiler is broken. Um, but one of the problems that NYCHA faced was that uh, they didn't have translators. Uh, many f folks in, in these buildings speak different languages, so Russian, Chinese. So my staff uh, and I went down to Old Dwyer Houses, knocked on doors, and uh, it was painful to watch that, you know, there were many senior citizens, and many of them were using their ovens as sources of heat, which is extremely dangerous uh, for uh, for, for reasons such as carbon monoxide and fire hazards. And we advised them, obviously, against doing that and also informed them of, of the option of having a warming center nearby. But many folks chose to, to stay home, to stay inside, inside their homes. And But, you know, it just, to me, it was a very sobering experience to see a year post-Sandy, families still dealing with the aftermath of that storm. Uh, Thursday, February 27th at 10 a.m., we're, we're going to have a city council hearing uh, for the first time in Coney Island, and it will be in a NYCHA complex called Cary Gardens. Uh, the address is 2315 Surf Avenue, and the hearing will begin at 10 a.m. It, and it's actually a joint hearing uh, by uh, my committee, which is the new council committee called the Recovery Resiliency Committee, and in addition to that, it will be uh, also accompanied by the Public Housing Committee, which is chaired by Councilmember Richie Torres uh, from the Bronx. And the focus of that hearing will be on these temporary boilers that were installed uh, in many NYCHA buildings that were impacted by Superstorm Sandy, which have proven to be unreliable and have broken down during the coldest stretches of our winter. Uh, my first week in office, uh, O'Dwyer Houses in Coney Island, their temporary boiler broke down leaving hundreds of families without heat and hot water, and some for, for two days straight. And the problem has been these temporary boilers. They're just not reliable. They keep breaking down. Uh, NYCHA has to send folks down there to help fix it. Uh, and, and to me, you know, we need to have a plan in place to replace them with reliable, sustainable, permanent boilers. So the hearing will be, what is the plan? Uh, we know that the government has received billions of dollars in aid from Washington. Where is that money? How is it being put to use? I understand that there might be complexities with regards to not, re not rebuilding them in the areas which, which they flooded, but what is the alternative? And let's start moving forward so we don't face the same problem year after year. So this committee was um, an idea that uh, I came up with with council member uh, Carlos Menchaca, who represents uh, Red Hook and Sensa Park. Uh, his district was also hit hard by Superstorm Sandy. And we just really, you know, we heard from constituents, we heard from voters that there's a lot of questions uh, that have been unanswered with regards to the Sandy recovery process. And to me, we need, I think, greater oversight at the city council level to deliver those answers to the public. You know, and this is going to require unprecedented cooperation from both the local, state, and federal government. And I believe that we have to do our part at the local level to have better coordination and to provide the public with as much information as possible when it comes to their, when their tax dollars, make sure those dollars are being put to use to help communities rebuild post-Sandy.